What's up guys? Today we got to finally make that back stacker tutorial for you guys and Amazon that blank spot. Yeah, I know. I'm I don't really like it either. Like let's fix it. Ready? Better? I like it too. All right. And Amazon really surprised us with the delivery on this one, so check it out, guys. Alright guys, so you want to make a vac stacker. Go to Amazon or just go down below and follow all of the links that I have in the description. You got to get this vacuum pump. It's a 12 volt vacuum pump. It is $21.95. That's the most expensive part of the whole entire thing. So just add that to your cart. Then you can probably just go back to my descriptions. Oh yeah, yeah I get some free two day shipping. I think I always do. Alright, get this foot pedal. Next, you need a 12 volt, 2 amp power supply. You probably already have one of these sitting around the house, so look around, but it's gotta be 2 amp. Uh, it won't run the vacuum if not. Add that to your cart, move on. These are optional. I like these though. These are definitely something that you probably should throw in your car anyways. They're pretty cheap and they make it so you can control the airflow. Now, just have that shit delivered and it actually said I can get drone delivery service for this, which I don't even know. Like, I don't think we have drone delivery service in this area, but we'll see. Maybe it'll happen. It said 20 minute delivery. Well, it's been about Whoa, holy shit, are you kidding me? Look at this. Dude, it worked. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? That's amazing. Holy shit, be careful with my package, little dude. What the fuck? Wow, look at that. Ready to go. Now for some tools. All right guys, I know not everybody has a soldering gun at their house, so we're gonna do this the super primitive way. All you need is a knife, a pair of wire cutters, and some electrical tape. All right, so this is super simple guys. We have this plug here, and this has a plug end on it that we don't actually need. So we're just gonna take and we're gonna cut this off. Leave yourself a little bit of room. And just snip that off of there. Next, you're gonna take your knife. You're gonna splice between these two wires. And just pull it apart. And there should be two wires in there. There should be a red one and a white one or a black one. Doesn't really matter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take, strip this wire, twist it up. Then you're gonna take this, the foot pedal, same thing, you gotta cut the end of this and get those wires to separate. There's three of them in this one. You only need two of them though. So you only need the white and the red one. The black one can just be cut right out of there. So now you're gonna take and put these two red wires together. Wire them together and twist these up really, really good. When I do this, I solder all these parts and everything, but like I said, I don't know if everybody at home has a soldering gun and I know a lot of people are gonna be just doing it this way anyway, so. All right, so once you twist these two wires together really good, you're just gonna take this electrical tape that you got. If you have wire nuts or you have like wire crimps and stuff like that I highly recommend using them but I know some people aren't going to use them so I figured I'd just do it 
this way anyways. You are not going to wire these two together. You're actually going to wire these onto your pump. It doesn't matter which one goes where whatsoever. It, you can put it on either side. So you're just going to take this and you're going to go through the little hole on there, come back up over itself, and then twist it around itself. So you want to make sure that you gave yourself a little bit extra room with your wire. Do the same thing with the other wire. You want to make sure these are twisted up really good so they go through that hole nice and easily and they don't fray up and touch the other metal. Okay. You can like two part epoxy those or something like that if you want to. I personally solder them on there. If you know how to solder, just do a quick solder at this point. And yeah guys, I mean that is it. It is ready to go. Untangle this cord. And we just plug this in over here. And as you can see, when we push the foot pedal, this one blows, this one sucks. So you just hook a hose up to those and then hook this up to your hose. This real quick if you do want to use one of these what it's for is you hook a hose up okay, let me get a hose all right so one thing about these is this is a smaller hose than the hose we typically use for our blow hoses so I have a little smaller version of that you can wrap tape around it or anything and then you just put this on there like that you close one of these off and then you hook your, I guess I should have got two of those, but you would just put this on your other one here. And then when you hit it, but if you wanted like less suction, like you didn't want it to be so strong, you would open this one up like three halfway three quarters of the way. And you can see it won't suck that hose all the way down now anymore. But it does suck it down some. It has some suction on it, but not, it won't ever seal it completely shut. That's for like opals and stuff like that. All right, now you can just take this and literally mount it into anything. I put them in a Pelican box. If you do want like a fancy one in a Pelican box, uh, we are gonna be making a run of them pretty soon. It's kind of a hassle to make a lot of them at one time. Uh, so I, I'm not really into doing it, but I am gonna make a bunch of them. And if you want one of those, just you're gonna have to be patient. If not, just do this, go to the description buy all the stuff in the links and throw this little thing together you can throw it in any box you can you know anything or just like mount it under your table throw it on a shelf anything as long as the foot pedal reaches down to you if you want a longer cord uh, if you guys leave me enough comments saying you want to know how you I'll show you how to just take this foot pedal apart and put a longer cord on it or you just put a little DC adapter on there and buy an extension cord uh, either way it's pretty easy so yeah guys, if you like this tutorial, hit the like button. It really does make a difference to me anyways. And I uh, hope everyone has a great day. I hope this helps you out. And if, I'll do some tutorials in the future of like what you can do with a vac stacker. I don't only use the suction side. I actually use this side a lot. So I'll tell you all about it in the future. Thanks guys. Have a good day.